afternoon, good evening, whatever time this is reaching you, if you are live, it is 10 a.m. and a chilly day in Minnesota. Gosh, Memorial Weekend, can you believe it? I mean, it is this weekend. I still think it's like May 1st, but the reality is summer is upon us. And it is time to start thinking about what you need for that summer wardrobe. You know I'm a huge fan of a capsule wardrobe, those pieces you can mix and match. It especially, I'm guessing, is gonna come in handy this summer. We were actually just talking here at the studio before I hopped on about all the summer travels that everyone has planned. I bet you are taking trips too. So all the better to have a capsule wardrobe just to put it all together and figure out what you can mix and match, throw in that suitcase, or just put on on any old Tuesday to make it happen. So we're gonna start with what I'm wearing and then we're gonna break down some other pieces. So I am a huge fan of a great relaxed button down. Now what's great about this silhouette is that it's a dress up, dress down, and you can wear it so many ways. Now a fun twist, I would say for summer, is you can do it sleeveless. Now I grabbed this because I think it's a little unexpected. This is from Velvet. What I think is really fun about this blouse is that it has a little bit of a gathering at the arm, so you get just a slight touch of feminine detail. It is a linen, so it's a relaxed fit and body, and it's actually a little bit shorter. Now, I tucked it in because, you know me, I'm always looking for ways to lengthen those legs, but it's not a very long length, so this is an easy one to wear out as well. Throw it on with a pair of cutoffs, put it on with a pair of jeans, and you're good to go. You can also dress it up with a pair of white denim and wear it out at night. Now, let's talk about the jeans that I'm wearing. You need a great pair of jeans, and if you're gonna lean into a great pair of jeans, make it a boot or a wide leg. This is gonna be your most versatile jean you have in your closet this summer. It's great, as I mentioned earlier, and this is gonna be kind of the theme of today for dressing up or dressing down. They feel like a million bucks, and especially if they have stretch. Now, this is the Citizens of Humanity Isola. Now, this jean has been flying. We had it in a lighter wash. Now, we have it in this awesome medium wash with a raw hem. It is a boot, more of an ankle length. So much stretch in this puppy, and a little bit higher rise, but as comfortable as you can imagine. So an easy, easy one just to put on without giving it any thought. And the best part about this jean is that it retains its shape. Then I popped on a neutral slide. Absolutely something you need in your closet. These are from Tiki, so let me tell you, this brand, I think when it first came into the market, everyone was like, oh, it's my beach slide, it's my pool slide. But they have absolutely upped their game. I love this double strap sandal. It's really comfy and it's great because when you go with something more neutral, it really just kind of disappears and lets the rest of the look do the talking. So let's talk about the woven shirt and what you need. Lots of variations in this kind of camp shirt silhouette. I'm gonna start with solids and I'm gonna give you a couple unexpected pieces more towards the end. So first piece, this is from Cloth and Stone. What's fun about this guy is that if you are not a tucker, this does the waist accentuating for you. So great tie here, little bit of a shorter length, not cropped. This is not cropped, it's still gonna hit you a little bit below your waist, but I love that it has this tie in the front just to give you some nice shape. Now this is more of a cream. It is a little bit of a linen. No, it doesn't need to be perfectly pressed. That's one of the things I'm loving about this summer is that it is about ease and breeze and comfort. So we're not looking for that perfect, perfect pressed look. Speaking of, another great cloth and stone piece. If you wanna catch my stories on Saturday, you'll see me wearing it there. This is so beautiful. It's really like a sandy kind of blush. So very, very flattering. More of a camp shirt, a relaxed fit. So typically in cloth and stone button downs, I like to go down a size. This one I found it, my true size worked beautifully because it is by nature kind of more relaxed. Looks great with white. I also just love it with denim. Very, very chic. Easy one to just pop on. And I, can you think of anything better than an already rolled sleeve so you don't have to fuss and muss with that? Thank you. Love that. 
Okay, twist. What if you are a t-shirt gal? I know there's so many of you out there who just live in knits and the idea of wearing a woven top, no thank you, you'll pass. Guess what? I have a button down for you. This is from Goldie. They are such a fun brand. Now you might have remembered some of our Goldie pieces from earlier this year. We had some yummy, yummy long sleeve tees, a great ringer tee that I loved. Well, check out this silhouette. It is taking your camp shirt and putting it in a knit. So really fun, it's a slub knit. Again, you'll see this is a little bit more of a relaxed fit, meant to be that way, not too long on this one. So this is also a really easy one just to pop on and lean out, or you can do a full tuck. I love that this feels like a t-shirt, looks like a blouse, so you can really elevate this guy and play with it. And last but not least, if you caught Jamie with our new arrivals on Monday, you might have caught her in this amazing blouse from Citizens of Humanity. Couple things that I think are really special about this. Number one, the stripe. Now, I like adding a little bit maybe of print and pattern into my capsule wardrobe just to mix it up a little bit, but if it becomes too much of a statement piece, it's hard to wear over and over again. And I think stripes make that really, really easy, right? Because they're kind of a neutral print. Not a lot of fuss and muss with this guy. It looks great with denim, looks great with white. What's also really fun about this is this great pleating right here on kind of that shoulder. Adds a touch of feminine detail, much the way this blouse does with the sleeve. Just a little bit to really soften it up Gives a great, great finish to it. Of course, you can pop the collar or you can wear it down. Your choice. In a little bit more of a relaxed body, can we also call it a really amazing make detail on this? Covered buttons. How fun is that? I love it when a button kind of just disappears on a shirt and this guy not only disappears, it like blends right in. So fun. And this great match collar. So really chic, really fun piece here. And it's in this yummy, yummy double face cotton, which is literally like wearing your most comfortable t-shirt you've washed 9,000 times. It almost feels like you're in like your cozy bed in this one. It's so nice. So, one of my faves there. Okay, what if it's hot? There's hot days, they're coming. We haven't really seen them yet here in Minneapolis, but I know they're out there somewhere. I was just in California last weekend and it was hot there, let me tell you. So for those warmer days, a great tank is such a staple to have in your closet. And I'm not necessarily talking about the layering tank, I'm talking about a tank that can stand on its own. So something you wanna pair back to denim, something that you wanna pop on, maybe with a pair of cutoffs, you're wearing this up at the lake over the weekend or for a fun trip that you're taking. You can wear it underneath a jacket, so lots of ways to style this, but I'm always looking for that piece that's just maybe one notch up from my core tank that I used to layer. So, starting with this fabulous tank from Michael Stars. What I think makes this guy great is it is more of a Henley silhouette. So this is called the Luna, wanted to make sure I got that right, in this yummy, yummy green with this actual Heather Gray stripe, which is so fun and fresh. You can see that this really does act as a neutral, same as my shirt that I'm wearing now. Runs true to size, you know this fabric, it is the same fabric as our Nola tank, as our one shoulder tank, as our Maya, as our dresses. So it's that fabric that hugs you, but doesn't squeeze you. So it skims the body, really flattering. It comes in this great stripe, as well as your classic white, and of course, your black. I absolutely think you could dress this guy up too in your white or your black with a great pair of jeans and then a fun little like stacked sandal. Throw on some gold jewelry like the chain I'm wearing today, which I think is like the perfect finishing piece, and you're done for a night out. Or throw it on with a pair of cutoffs and you're like knocking around the cabin. So lots of ways to style this guy, a really fun one. And it's a you know great price because you're gonna wear it so, so much. I This one might be a temptation one to buy more than one color in because it's so good. Now a different way to go with tanks and a fun trend that we're seeing this summer is the sweater tank. Now I've heard from a few of you and I'd like to know if you're out there, that this one's kind of a stumper for you. Is it? Are you supposed to wear it when it's warm? Are you supposed to wear it when it's cold? Like what is the occasion you put a sweater tank on? And here's my answer. You wear it just like you'd wear a tank. 
It is just a fun new way to kind of style your top. Now what's great about sweater tanks now is that they are really lightweight. So they're not heavy, they're not gonna weigh you down, you're not gonna get hot on it, it's not meant to be a heavy layer, it's supposed to function just like your normal tank would. So really fun one I wanted to talk about first, this has been a best seller here at Everweave. This is, I wanna give you the name of it so I don't forget, the Maeve Cable Tank. Now this is exclusively at Everweave. So pretty, you might have seen this in our May catalog. We styled it with, no surprise, a pair of flare denim. So chic on. Now what I love about this guy is you can kind of go two ways with the color. You can go with this great kind of denim -y navel blue, or my personal favorite, you can go with a yummy, yummy neutral. Don't let the cable trick you. This is a cotton sweater, so super, super light, really fun to wear. Love this double V because it's so flattering and then you've got that great back and yes, you can wear your normal bra with this which makes it all the more delightful. Another really fun tank and I think this one's great because it kind of gives a little going out vibe. I could see this guy maybe with a pair of heels. So fun, but also I love the silhouette because it's really forgiving, that nice swing body. So, nice open stitch here, rounded neckline. This is also from Everweave. Still high enough on the under the arm. Now this has been one of my beefs. I've noticed this is happening out there, right? Is you're seeing that these arm kind of holes are coming way down, showing your bra. I don't want that, I don't need that. Let me wear my normal bra with this. So this definitely comes up high enough that you can wear your normal bra. You can wear a racer back with this guy or you can wear a strapless. I love the fact that it's open. So easy one to kind of pop on with a pair of either, I like this with like a long flare or a cropped wide leg would be really, really cute and then a flat little sandal. The neckline of this is really dramatic and statement making so you don't need a lot of jewelry to really turn up the volume on this guy. So cute. What if the weather is turning on you? What if it's not great outside? What if you need a layer, you're stumped on what to wear, Here's my thought. We all love our denim jackets, right? And I lean into mine again and again and again, especially over dresses. But every once in a while, I'm craving something different. And that's where I think the utility jacket comes into play. Especially when we're talking about this capsule wardrobe that's really grounded more in neutrals, it's fun to add in a little bit richer color into that wardrobe to give it some contrast. So. Two really fun pieces. The first just landed. Such a great jacket from Marrakesh. This guy is great. Now it's a more of a bomber style. So I would say this of the two that I'm gonna show you are, this is a little more casual. Has a hoodie on it. You can just tell by looking at it, incredible drape fabrication on this one. And it's not too long. So what I think is great about that, it's really easy to wear with dresses. When those jackets get long, they can kind of look a little bit frumpy when you're laying it over a dress, especially a tiered dress. Because this jacket is a little bit shorter, you can unzip it, keep it open, wear it over a dress, pull up that sleeve a little bit, or this looks terrific, pair it back to, it's gonna build a whole outfit here, your Henley tank. Pop this guy on over, pair it with a pair of jeans or cutoffs, and you're good to go. Lightweight is the key on this one. So if you just need that one extra layer, when I was in New York last week, it was beautiful and sunny, but the minute you got on the shady side of the street, you were like, woo, it's a little chilly. Or we were in and out of air-conditioned stores and you can't regulate your temperature. You're like, I'm hot, I'm cold, I'm hot, I'm cold. This would be the perfect, perfect piece. Also, because it's so lightweight, it's easy to throw in a suitcase if you're traveling. Now, if I wanted to turn it up a little bit, here's where I would go. This is from Sanctuary. Now, I think Sanctuary makes an incredible utility jacket. They always find a way to add a little twist to it, really elevate it and make it look so chic. The fun detail about this guy is all about the sleeves. Now, Stephanie Hall was wearing this in our May catalog. If you haven't checked her out, by the way, you will fall in love with her line, Estelle Colored Glass. It is the most stunning, glassware you have ever seen. It makes a magical gift if you have someone who has a special birthday coming up, 
Um, I love this, a great anniversary gift. It's really, really unique. So glasses, cake stands, vessels, absolutely stunning. She wore this and it looked so terrific on her. I actually loved it with a dress that had a little bit of waist interest. So you can see this guy is a straight cut, so it's almost like a shacket, but because they've taken this beautiful, beautiful detail on the sleeve and given it this great tab collar, it just makes it a little more feminine, which is why I absolutely love it, paired back to dresses, skirts, but also as a fun contrast, you know, that scratch we're always looking for, back to maybe a destructive jean in a tank. I've been mentioning dresses. We've been wanting dresses. We know dress season is upon us. The dress I think everyone should grab for this capsule wardrobe is something white. So it can be white, it can be cream, but you need a great white dress and here's why. It feels the ultimate high summer. There's something about a white dress that just makes you feel feminine and pretty, but also strong and put together. It is appropriate for every occasion, maybe except for weddings. You can, unless you are the bride, of course, you can dress them up, you can make them casual. There's just such a short window of time when that breezy white dress feels mm, perfect. Summer it is, so I'm gonna show you some really fun options. We'll start with the splendid dress. Now you know this dress because we had it in navy. We decided to bring it in white. It sold out to the piece in navy. Now here it is in this gorgeous white. What makes this fun? Great v-neck detail, so flattering. Adjustable straps, I love that. Elasticized back, so really easy to move around in and elasticized waist. So it gives you some nice shape and is a little bit of blousing. Tearing, so flattering, and then this great eyelet detail at the bottom. I also know, I heard it from a good source, AKA my best girlfriend, lots of graduations coming up, lots of gals looking for white dresses. If you've got a high school senior who is in need of a white dress, I think this would be a stunning option. I'm gonna show you a couple more. Great, another dress from Splendid. This is more of a tensile fabrication. Now what I think is great about this guy is it's kind of a blank slate. So we love the notch neckline, right? Flattering. We love the short sleeve because it's hard to find a dress with sleeves. Shorter length and just a straight shape. This guy does also have pockets. Thank you, we love a dress with pockets. Now, what makes this a blank slate is to how you can add, play, mix, and match. Dress this guy up with a fun heel, a great necklace, a stack of bracelets, and you're good to go. Make it casual with a little teva, maybe throw on a hat, and I think royal and crossbody, you run into the farmer's market. Do something in between. Meet your girlfriends off for lunch with a more elevated slide and maybe some brighter jewelry I think would make this so fun. Now I haven't tried belting this guy. I think if you're petite, you could. I think if you're taller, it's gonna creep too short. But someone petite could easily throw on a little belt on this one just to give yourself a little bit of waist. I always think it's worth a try when you get these shift dresses to try it with a belt because you often are surprised at how much that can change the entire look. All right, speaking of short dresses, speaking of graduation, speaking of looking pretty, this kind of takes our last few dresses and makes them into one. So this is from Velvet. It is a beautiful, really open eyelet. And when I say open, I mean it's not dense, right? You just get hits of it. Throughout, it is fully lined. Great slip dress underneath. I love, again, this notch collar. The sleeve detail is absolutely stunning on this guy and you've got that waist built right in. It's fun, it's flirty, it's feminine, it's so, so pretty, I don't know. I'm going to Cabo this weekend, maybe I want this for my trip. Yeah, your name, what do you guys think? Would it be fun? I think it might be fun. I'm thinking about it. This is gonna be in the back of my head while I'm thinking about it today. So pretty, love this guy for a vacation, but again, also love it for all of these kind of fun events we have coming up. And then last but not least, I eeked when I saw this one come in because I think this is so fun. From Sanctuary, a great little cream romper. Now this is a really rich vanilla cream. It's not almost white, it definitely has a cream tone to it. So fun. This one I think you could wear even if your daughter's wearing white to a graduation because it's such a rich color. So love the waist detail on this because it's gonna give you a nice shape. You've got your buttons down the front, but an open neckline, a slight, 
puff sleeve. So not over the top. So if you don't like a ton of feminine detail, this guy doesn't feel like too much. It really just helps take this kind of from safari to sophistication. Cuffed, short, not too short. Really pretty option. How I would style this guy, I think if you want to elevate it, I would pop on a great little kind of wedge or a heel um, sandal if you want to keep it casual. I think you can go tiki's or of course you can go with my absolute favorite sandal here. This great little slide is a really fun complement to this. Now, another kind of interesting twist I just wanted to call out is the idea of swapping out your belt. So here is a great woven belt. This is actually the second time we've gotten this in. We had it in a darker color. Now we have it in this yummy lighter color. It's a really unexpected way, I think, to finish off this look. You can see that adding a belt to this would really change the whole spirit of this look. You could also, I could have done this today. That would have been cute. Could have added a belt to this look. Really flattering and really fun. Just, I'm popping belts into every suitcase that I've been packing as of late because I'm finding I'm reaching for it more as I want to kind of mix up my looks or when I have a really fluid kind of dress or um, top and I want to cinch it a little bit. This gives such great shape. This belt is particularly nice because it's so soft and flexible and it has some stretch in it. So it's really easy to work with. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if you guys are wondering about sizing. It comes in two sizes. So small, medium, large, extra large, has a ton of stretch. I'm just gonna show you. I, I would wear the small, medium on me. You can see it has a pretty generous tail. So if you wanna do that great little loop-de-loop -loop and kinda of have the tail hanging down, you can do that. Otherwise, I just do a little kind of corner tuck on mine or tuck it into my belt loops and then I've got it holding. So, kind of two ways to do it. This also comes in, another version is black. Different though, gang. So this guy, not as stretchy as the brown and a little bit thinner. I think black belts add edge. I think brown belts make things feel a little bit more neutral and earthy. So it kind of depends on what you're going for. These days I'm throwing both in because I'm finding that I really want them. Okay, let's talk bottoms because we're talking a little bit about belts and then we're gonna talk accessories. So bottoms, we're gonna talk jeans first. So this is the Asolo, we talked about this jean, why we love it. I have yet to see this not look fabulous on anybody. I mean, this is like a home run jean. So stretchy, so yummy. If you're petite, it's a great ankle length. If you're taller, you're gonna get that cropped effect. Really fun, really cute. Couple other options that kind of hit in that same vein. The first is this Hudson Rosie. Now this is if you're looking for a little bit of destruction in your jean. You know Hudson, they're always gonna give you great stretch. I love the wash down feeling of this and this is definitely a wider leg than that boot that I've got on. So this is gonna be more of your straight wide, which I love that there's something about it that feels so high summer. So to me, this is like this, throw on your summer tank in a slide and like live in that look all weekend long. Another great option, you know this yummy jean, this is the Paige Anessa. Cannot go wrong with this jean. This is a raw hem on this one, gang, so if you're finding this is too long for you, you know what to do, just cut it off. And if you haven't checked out how to cut it, Check out our video, it's saved on our website. If you go right to the Every Eve TV tab at the very top of our site, you can find how to cut your denim. It is like one, two, three, and you're done. It's so easy, and for me, it has been a tremendous lifesaver because I have to make everything shorter. So, Paige and Nessa, this has been a huge, huge seller for us because it's got so much stretch and it's so darn flattering. There are days, however, when a genius isn't gonna cut it. It's too hot. It's not comfortable, you want something that's a little bit breezier. That's why I absolutely love the A Goldie. Now I'm grabbing my favorite silhouette for the summer. This is the Parker Cuffed. What makes this guy great is the versatility in length. So if you don't like the short length or you already have the short length, what's great about this guy is that you can wear the cuff, which is about the same length as the Parker Long, and you can unroll it and give yourself even more length. So if you want kind of a Bermuda, you want a longer short, this is such a great option. Two washes on this guy, 
Of course, I love this blue, but I'm really digging this darker blue wash for some reason. I think there's something about it. Maybe it's all the lighter neutrals I've been wearing. I'm liking that contrast. It also just feels a little bit differentiated from my Parker that I have in Swap Meet, which is that lighter wash. So two ways to go on this one. I think they run true to size, really, really comfortable and really, really flattering, really fun one. Okay, we're gonna talk accessories before I sign off because they are oh so important and they're what makes the look. So easy, easy ways to kind of style up or style down. So I showed you my favorite sandal in that bone color. Just note it comes in not one, not two, not three, but four colors. So it comes in a yummy kind of tomato red, a bright citron, which let me tell you, you don't know like the benefits of having a bright sandal until you pop it into your closet. It adds a little bit of zing. And if you're going more neutral, the way we've been talking about today, it's a really fun piece to add into your closet. It's reading really almost neon on screen. And gang, I'm gonna tell you, it's more of like a lemony light yellow. I want you to see how fun this is with even what I'm wearing, right? So you can do color on your feet. I like yellow because it's not too, too bold. And this sandal, with it being so bare and minimal, is a fun way to introduce a little pop into your closet. So cute, right? And I like that it kind of mixes and matches with this more utility green top I have on. You know I'm gonna talk about Teva, so should we just get into it? Should we just talk about the world's greatest shoe? I mean, let's do it. I'm gonna grab one of each so you can see why we love this guy. Have you gotten on the Teva train yet? I'm hearing from you. I wanna know what you think. Do you love it? Do you love it? Here's why I love it. Now, I live in my Burks, you know that. My daughter asked me the other night, Mom, what's your favorite shoe? And I said, my Burks. And she said, what's your second favorite shoe? I said, my Burks. What are your five favorite shoes? I said, I am going to tell you, they are my five pairs of Burks. I love a good Burke, but I have been craving an update. And I think this Teva really is hitting the mark because it does all the same things as my Burke, but it's even more comfortable. Now, that great platform, I think, is what makes this guy feel a little chic. There's been lots of questions about, can you dress this up? Yes, you can. I wear mine with dresses all the time. So you've got the white with a hit of black, the black with a hit of white, and then let's talk about this yummy, yummy gold. So when I was in New York, I was actually traveling with Megan, our CEO. She wore these hustling around New York, and you know New York tests you like nobody's business when it comes to footwear. I have, in New York, multiple times, had to stop halfway through my day and buy a new pair of shoes because I steered myself wrong in terms of comfort. So, so comfortable. Absolutely love these guys. True to size on this one for sure. You know the deal, adjustable Velcro closures on this one. I sold these to a mom when I was at a baseball game a couple weeks ago. We were just loving them and it's what I'm gonna live in, no doubt, all summer long. Okay, last pieces we need to talk about, hats. It's sun season, gang, which means we need to start protecting that skin. And I know you're all doing the right thing and you're, we're wearing our sunscreen and we're lathering it on and we have all the SPF and the swim shirts and all the things. But I'm gonna tell you right now, even this weekend when I was in California, slathering on the sunscreen every day, still got a little bit of sun on my nose. So here's the deal, you need a great hat. And if you need a great hat, I mean, I feel like this is the one, right? How cute is this? Oh, I should have had this in Napa. This would have been so fun. So cute, right? Isn't it fun? So it's absolutely gonna keep the sun out of my face. This is also the cure you guys know for a bad hair day does all the things for you. Really comfortable, lightweight. I know sometimes hats can get so hot. This one is breezy. It's got some great ventilation in it. And I love that just a little strip of leather there just to finish it off. I mean, come on. It's so cute, right? I mean, it's so cute. It's so fun. Okay. Now, if you don't want to wove a hat though, the next big thing that is happening in hats is the bucket hat, which I think is so darn cute. I mean, look at this guy, you guys, so fun. Also gives you some nice face protection. I think of bucket hats as being a little bit more sporty. So here's what I'm envisioning. I'm taking my tank, I'm taking my cutoff, I'm popping on my bucket hat and I'm popping on my Teva and I'm running out the door. This is like baseball watching uniform, right? So cute and so fun. I don't know, it's kind of fun, right? I'm not even always a hat girl, but 
This one might change my mind. It's pretty darn cute. It's really fun. So, bucket hats, absolutely lightweight. What's great about this guy too, of course, is moms and busy women that we are. We're always running around. I mean, look at this, you guys. Literally, throw it in your handbag. You won't even have to think about it. And then when that sun peeks out and if you forgot your sunscreen or you feel like your sunscreen's running out, you just pop this guy on and immediate coverage. So fun. Okay, there we go. It's a capsule wardrobe in 30 minutes, right? Did we do that? Yep, 30 minutes almost on the nose. So everybody needs a gray tank, a woven shirt, a layer, a white dress, or a romper. It counts. Cut off a flare or a white leg jean, easy slide sandal, maybe something a little sporty, and then those great accessories, be it a belt or a fun hat, and you're good to go. Hope this gave everyone some great ideas. I hope you have a fantastic long weekend ahead of you with some fun plans with your family, and we will see you next week. Take care.